In this special episode, Freddy flies his team to Kodiak Island, Alaska, in hopes of bagging the elusive brown bear. But when the going gets tough, will the tough get going? Or will the weather, terrain, and unbearable circumstances be too much for our Hollywood hunter? This is The Hollywood Hunter, and we're heading to Kodiak Island, Alaska. Through The Hollywood Hunter series, we have opportunities to not only film on the Hartice Ranch, but we get to film all over the world. And we are now into our seventh season, and it seems like most of the bucket list is filled. One of the last ones is Kodiak Island, Alaska for brown bear. We've always had the dream to go out and hunt Kodiak Island brown bear. I remember my dad many times going over there in pursuit of a big brown and had taken a pretty big one his third trip. So we were hopeful that we can get it done here this first trip and, and have a great experience. It's really happening. We've been looking forward to this forever. Darren and I are going together to save camp, roughing it. It's not going to be the same accommodations as HR, but it's going to be good. Darren and I previously, a few weeks earlier, were in Colorado. We're he had taken a really big bull with me, uh, and so did his wife. And now we're meeting up in Alaska to hunt brown bear together, which is a complete dream come true for both of us. We're gonna be taking a beaver plane in, Darren and I and a couple of the guides. We're actually all gonna be in the middle of them, but in different locations. This is gonna be a hunt of a lifetime. We take a float plane into where we're gonna be hunting. Darren, ready to do this? So it's gonna be very remote. It's going to be roughing. It's going to be the real deal. I don't know if we got enough room for all that stuff. Gee, many. Are we living out of tents? We're not even going to have bucket showers. We're going to be using wipes for our showers, which is a little different than what we usually do at the Hartice Ranch. But hey, I'm excited about the journey. It's going to be a ton of fun, and we're going to get into some big bears. Clint leaves early with all the gear and a boat because we had so much stuff with cameras and everything going on that we couldn't fly it all in at one time. So they went out via boat and left real early and we flew in later as in Darren and I and a couple of the other guides in order to meet them there to set up camp. We are going to set up camp, get things organized and situated so the hunt started the next day. Meeting Michael Horsman for the first time, very well known up there in Kodiak as one of the premier outfitters. The guy's just down to earth, the complete country man, a little more capable of sleeping out in the wilderness than the Hollywood Hunter, but he's gonna rough me up a little bit. hit the water, I was just ecstatic because the scenery was superb, the water was so crystal clear, the eagles were flying all over the place. We had the most beautiful backdrop of the mountains and the snow, and I could see the tent and the camp already set up. Seven days, no phone service, no contact to the outside world. What the f did I sign up for? Got into the fresh water and started drinking some of that water just right out of the stream. Mm, better than Dasani, I'll tell you. I can't believe he's drinking that water. It was the most crystal clear, best tasting water I've ever had in my life, and I just couldn't get enough of it. Holy it's cool. <sighs> it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a safe hunt. These guys do it all the time, and uh, it's one of those things that we just follow their lead and, and stay with them. Well, good morning. 
My fingers are falling off. I gotta get my gloves on. Unbelievable. But let the games begin. We pick out our favorite cup of noodle and snacks that we wanted to haul around during the day. Pack up all of the clothes we could carry in our backpacks and everything to stay warm and dry and multi-layers. And then we would head out for the journey. We're after brown bears on Kodiak Island. This is pretty amazing. Have fun. Good luck. Hey, buddy. We're heading two different directions and we're out till dark. Joel's a, a younger guide, but very energetic and knows his stuff. And I'm gonna go with Joel the next several days. Getting to Kodiak Island, actually it's my first trip there. I've heard what great bear hunting it is. It's supposed to be one of the most sought after brown bear hunts in the world. Darren and I, we're just hopeful that we can get it done. Arms Core Ammo. Right on target, right on the price. Scent Crusher. Scent off. Game on. Raptor Razor takes field dressing to a whole new level. Visit raptorrazor.com. Excalibur Crossbows, the most accurate hunting crossbow. ExcaliburCrossbow.com. Keystone Sporting Arms, home of the Cricket, Chipmunk, and the new 722. Tree Stand Buddy, the quick attach slide mount system for hang on tree stands. Ripcord's new Ace Standard with the Firefall design. See the Ace difference. Hollywood Hunter is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. There's no getting off the island now as the Hollywood Hunter and his team settle in for a wet and wild trip through the treacherous jungles of brown bear terrain. We're after brown bears on Kodiak Island. This is pretty amazing. Joel's a younger guide, but very energetic and knows his stuff. My name is Joel Chastain. I'm an Alaskan guide. We are in Kazuyak Bay. So we've been sitting here glassing for the last several hours. We did see a sow and a cub, but she was too far up there to even get video of. So on Kodiak Island, a sow and a cub is off limits. It's illegal to hunt them, and we wouldn't want to do it anyway. We're after a big boar. We're going to move down the river and through the woods <laughs> to grandmother's house we go. And hopefully on the way, we run into Big Yogi. We're kind of anticipating what Darren's seeing over in the valley. So we're in such a remote area that Darren and Daniel are walking up through this trail and a black-tailed deer is walking with them. And the deer has obviously never seen a human before. Obviously the deer haven't seen many people. <laughs> We saw the bear probably 500 yards away, made a move on him. Johnny's trying to get in position and look at him through the spotting scope, and Darren's like, he's big enough. I can see him with my bare eyes. Let's go kill this thing. The wind was wrong at first, but it's swirling by us, and then it got up there, and it was kind of blowing down the valley. We decided we better get closer. They got their camera, got the gun, and they take off running. As the bear goes out of sight, they take off to try to get a better visual to get a shot. I think we moved into 100 and so. We just ran over the top of a little hill and there he was 90 yards away. He was behind some brush, so we said we'd call him. <coughs> then he came pretty quick. I got set up. The pack was stood up because of the grass. Started walking right to us and he went down this little ravine. I looked up and he's right there. 90 yards. Boom, let the firing begin. Shoot it again. Shoot it. That bear goes down, and now these boys had to figure out how to get to it. Did you get it all, Daniel? I got it all, brother. The bear went about 10 feet after the first shot. You want to keep shooting them until they're definitely not moving anymore especially in this country, and I think we're gonna walk over and see what he looks like. Getting to the bear was a big struggle. There was a great waterfall that they couldn't get around, and they had to figure out, maneuver their way over to the bear. <laughs> oh, look at that foot. They thought the hardest part was getting there, but now they have to move it. These guys are struggling to move this bear. They're not, we're getting closer. 
we're glassing all over the place, we're sitting still. I'm actually getting anxious. We've been sitting for a while and I feel like we need to keep moving. A lot of guys come out here thinking that it's a lot of like ranch hunting where you go out and there's herds. It's kind of a culture shock for a lot of guys. They come out here and you're sleeping in the cold and you know, food's fairly okay, but there's big animals out here and you just have to have patience. You gotta stay where you're at. The more you move around, the more you're spreading your scent around. Sometimes moving isn't the best option. Joel's philosophy was sit tight and just wait for them to come to you. So initially we were kind of button heads a little bit. Yeah, I was wanting to keep moving. He was wanting to sit still and it made for a long day. So today is the first day of the hunt. Just glassing and glassing in hopes that there's a bear that's gonna get up and walk around. It's definitely not what I've been used to. I'm a guy that likes to keep moving and making things happen. So we're hoping it does not rain because that's gonna make it miserable. These big bears around here have been around the block. They know when the seasons are, when people are looking for them. So you gotta be smarter than the bears. You guys got one? We got it. Baby. Frick yeah, that's awesome. 10 foot. Oh, yeah. oh he's probably Dude. bigger. Really? Where's he at? We can't move him. We barely moved him for pictures. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Pictures? We oh, could not shit. move him a foot. How do yeah. you get it out? We're gonna have to go in there and skin it out. He had got that bear that he'd been dreaming of. He shot a 10 foot bear his first day out. Thanks, man. Couldn't have been a better day. Darren wastes little time letting bullets fly as he takes down a gigantic round bear, but getting the bear off the island is a whole nother animal. As for the Hollywood hunter, the battle is just beginning. Oh, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna get your bear out. The more I look at the picture, the more I think we need to helicopter it out. <laughs> So the next day, we were excited to go see this bear, and they wanted to get it out. So we all head up the canyon to get to the bear and get some more pictures, and then cape it out, skin it, and then pack it out. When you hike in Alaska, you get hot fast, you want to shed the layers, then you get cold, then you get wet, and then you want to put stuff back on. You're moving through your pack, because these mountains are huge, and when you're hiking, you get hot fast, and then you get cold even quicker. Now they did the office. We proceed to dissect this bear and get him out of there, which was incredible. That's a giant. Can you believe this? Kodiak Island, Darren whacked this giant bear the first day of the hunt. This is an absolute awesome bear. I'm so proud of him. So cool. Coming to Kodiak Island, Alaska has been a bucket list item for both of us for many years. And to hunt the Kodiak brown bear, unbelievable. They're not easy to get. Well, they're usually not. <laughs> Yesterday, the first day of the hunt, Darren was claiming he needed to get one down in the next few days because he had to get back for some things. We're gonna get it packed out of here today and get it back to camp. I wouldn't want anybody else here, Freddie. I'm glad you came along with me. I'm so proud of you, bro. sad right now because Darren doesn't get to enjoy Alaska for what it really is. <laughs> a bunch of rain and cold. We're praying that it breaks today. It's foggy which makes it difficult to see bears. We're gonna have breakfast, we're gonna wait it out, we're gonna see what happens, but we have to get hunting. We have limited time. It would rain and rain and rain and the fog was there and you couldn't see the mountains and it was cold and windy and, and it just wasn't good conditions. So we've had over 24 hours of rain, cold, and wind, and it just broke a couple hours ago. We've been glassing all over this hillside. I claim I've seen a bear almost on top, but I just saw him for about four seconds, and then he was gone. We're going to be heading up into this draw, which is absolutely beautiful. That's where Darren shot his giant bear. We're hopeful we can find another one in there. Sometimes it falls into place, and sometimes you're going to fight for it, and that's. Yeah, that's what Alaska's all about. Wrapping up another beautiful day here in Alaska. We didn't see a lot. We actually saw a jack squat. I'm hopeful. It got us kind of playing a head game with ourselves of are we ever going to see a bear? 
So now after a few days, the rain stops and we decide we're gonna hike back up to where Darren hunted, where that carcass was in hopes that there'd be another bear. I was getting anxious. I was hopeful we'd find a bear, but then on the other hand, there had been so many days that had gone by that we just weren't seeing what we were after. We were pressing forward and pressing forward and nothing, and it just wasn't coming together. Living in the elements and trying to stay warm and eating a cup of noodle for a week at a time, it really started wearing on the thought of enjoying the journey. It was more of, we want the destination. We get to the high point where Darren hunted the day before, and it was a breathtaking view. I mean, we had snow-capped mountains in front of us. We could see for miles. It's amazing. We were kind of sitting on this little point, and I could see why they had success. It looked that good, and it obviously was. Stay low. And it was just a waiting game. But we didn't know how long of a waiting game it was going to be. We were waiting for hours and hours in one spot, and we'd see a plane fly by until I got to a place where I was like, I wish I was on that plane. <laughs> These bears are like nomads. They just move and move and wander around. So when we spot a bear, if there was one that we wanted, we would try to get a little ahead of them. So we were getting cabin fever, and Clint has a unique way of amusing himself. So eventually I spot a bear. It was miles away. I'm looking through 15 power glass and it still looked like a little prairie dog. It had to be 10 miles and I was gung ho. I said, boys, let's go get him. Arms Chloramo. Right on target, right on the price. Scent Crusher. Scent off. Game on. Raptor Razor takes field dressing to a whole new level. Visit raptorrazor.com. Excalibur Crossbows, the most accurate hunting crossbow. Excaliburcrossbow.com. Keystone Sporting Arms, home of the Cricket, Chipmunk, and the new 722. Tree Stand Buddy, the quick attach slide mount system for hang on tree stands. Ripcord's new A standard with the Firefall design. See the ace difference. Hollywood Hunter is also brought to you by these fine sponsors. As Kodiak begins to freeze, temperatures with the Hollywood Hunter reach an all-time high. With Darren gone, will Freddy keep his tempers from flaring and bag a bear of his own? Find out on the conclusion of Hollywood Hunter, Alaska. So eventually I spot a bear toward the latter part of the day. It was miles away. I'm looking through 15 power glass and it still looked like a little prairie dog. It had to be 10 miles and I was gung ho. I said, boys, let's go get him. They said, Hollywood, are you crazy? <laughs> they knew it would take hours to hike to the bear. And by that time it would be dark. We'd have to camp out there in the middle of nowhere under what condition? We had no tent. We had nothing there to really house us. And we'd be right there living amongst the bears. It was getting dark fast. So we had to pack up and get moving back to camp. I felt like that time was becoming Groundhog Day, where we were doing the same things every single day, and the hike up to the top of the mountain was a few hours long, but every day it just seemed to get more difficult rather than easier. So it feels like deja vu. I don't know what day this is, but uh, I need a real shower, and I need a bear on the ground. We would just comb those mountains, look and look and look, till we were bored out of our mind. <laughs> and we're gonna wait it out until we get lucky. Honestly, I'm not complaining. I love all these experiences. We were packing our crap and going for another walk back to camp. We were gonna still walk the coastline and go glass some of the areas in which weren't fogged in. And as we did that, we ran across a bunch of seals. It was the first time I had ever been really amongst them. They're right off the coast and just popping up like little prairie dogs out of the water constantly. Really a cool visual. So this next morning, we go across the river, we get on the bank and we find a huge brown bear print. I was all ecstatic. I thought that bear was right there somewhere. Should we get back up to the top? We're getting set up. We're starting to glass that whole area. I'm very hopeful because we saw that bear print. We know there's one somewhere up here. And then suddenly Johnny sees a big bear. 
So this bear is a big blockhead. Looks like it has a great coat on it. We're thinking it might be a nine foot bear. I said, let's go get it. It's down over the, the canyon and up on the other side of the ridge about three quarters of the way. And it looked like it was gonna be easy to get to. We took off and we were trying to get in position to get a shot. This might be the bear that we saw the paw print of. So it took us over an hour to get to the bottom of the mountain. Now we had to go straight up the other side. The terrain in Alaska is very deceiving because it looks like you can just hike over here, and hike over there and go to the top of that mountain. But it takes hours. The most strenuous hike I have ever done. No idea where that bear is. He could show up from any direction. The wind was howling and my hands were freezing and I'm shivering and it's starting to get dark. I'm half questioning if a bear comes in, will I even be able to hit it? Wow, that's exhausting. No idea where he went. <laughs> my legs are exhausted. Rolling into the last couple of days, everything is soaked and everything is very slippery. So we kind of slip and slide our way through the next couple of days. Well, we just spotted a bear up here. We just lost him in the brush. So at this point, I'm thinking maybe it's not meant to be. <laughs> this is about it, guys. I say, let's start heading back. I've had enough. <laughs> but I was happy to call it a great experience. Did not get ourselves a bear, but it was a lot of memories. Closed captioning has been brought to you by Arms Corps Ammo. I want to congratulate Darren one more time because he made it happen. He shot a great bear. Special thank you to Michael Horsman and Kodiak Guide Service. Incredible hunt. First day killing a brown bear like this. A dream come true. We go there because some of the biggest bears in the world are on Kodiak. Special thanks to Johnny, Joel, and Michael for just going all in. You guys worked hard. You did everything you knew to do. It just wasn't in the cards for us to get a bear. Sometime in the near future, we'll get this thing done.